There he is. The ultimate weapon. Hey, his arms are longer now. They fixed his little baby arms. Final preparations are almost complete, my lord. There stands the culmination of five long years of painstaking work, but all our efforts will be vindicated when the Emperor's vision becomes reality. At last, we have the power to purge this land of its false gods. We shall give the ignorant children of Eorzea the security and stability they so desperately crave, and which their spineless leaders are so, have so palpably failed to provide. And they can get cool outfits like we do. As you say, my lord, rest assured our engineers will not rest until the weapon is fully armed and operational. Because for, for some reason right now it isn't. Ritalin, you depart for Castrum Osidus at midnight. You will command the Western Front in Vilband. The Orzeans will attempt to interfere with your plans. You will see that they do not. My lord, if this be your will, I shall carry it out to the best of my ability. I live only to serve the Empire. Yet, forgive my impudence, but is it proper to give command of half of our forces to a... I have given you nothing. Prefectus, you have earned it. That will be all. Dismissed. Yes, my lord. Gun shields. My quarters, one hour. We're gonna have some crazy sex, apparently. I wonder if we ever get to see behind the rest of their masks. I know I've seen... What's his face? The pretty blonde boy. Uh, I mean, he's not pretty. What? <laughs> Damaged, as I had suspected. In their present condition, I fear these uniforms and helms are like to drive suspicion. This is the first time in any video game that they've addressed the fact that you take uniforms off of dead bodies that you just killed, they'll be damaged. I am so happy that they addressed this. But all is not lost. Wedge thinks he may have identified an alternate solution. Go and see him, would you? He'll explain the details to you. I'm right here, I can hear you. As I believe the Chief has already informed you, the Magitech core is worn beyond use. We need to find a replacement. I thought about having you appropriate more Reapers, but even if the Dunderhead maintenance engineers at Castrum Sentry had remembered to replace their cores, we will risk arousing Imperial suspicion. But do not despair, for I believe there's a solution. To substitute the Magitech core with a... With a mammoth heart? We're going to power this thing with a living animal's heart? In case you don't know, a mammoth heart can be used to grant sentience to an automaton. <sighs> By my reckoning, such a device would, should be more than capable of re regulating the armor's servo mechanism. We just need to make some minor modifications to the housing unit. I've already placed an order for the first-rate mammoth heart with the Goldsmiths Guild. Just a normal Tuesday in Orzea? Yeah, that's fucking horrifying. We're just gonna give sentience to a machine. Why was I created, father? Do I die when I break, father? If you replace all my parts, am I still the same person underneath, father? That's, that's terrible. I have no mouth, so I cannot speak. Hear my thoughts, father. I scream. Jesus. Hmm? Shouldn't I be at my post? Oh, I suppose so. But such things don't seem to matter anymore. I've... I've fallen for one of the prisoners. She's all I can think of of late. Am I... Am I a deviant for wanting her to salute me? Okay. <laughs> oh man, what if like we held hands next? Oh blush. <laughs> oh man, 
Oh, man. I would... Between Minifilia and Tataru, mwah, Tataru, 100%. Yeah, well, actually, a lot of people bag dirt. You can buy bag dirt at the, uh, like a, what's it called? Brain blanking, like a Lowe's or a, a Home Depot, which I'm not sure if you have. Heresy? Man, Minfilia, it, mm, I mean, she's cute and all, but, I mean, Tataru's just such a sweetie. Little, little cutie pie. Greetings, comrade. Uh, forgive me for asking, but you haven't visited the storage tower recently, have you? I only asked because I've dropped something in there, and, um... Oh, who am I fooling? I've fallen for one of the prisoners, all right. I dare say you know you know the one I mean. Eh? Svel Blonde? Goodness, no. It's the Lala Philly and the house I'm spitting with. Let's go! Man of taste! A man of tastes. Look at that. No one likes Minfilia? She, yeah. You know what, Shield? I'm with you. She is useless. She's like, oh, I have the Echo, but I'm not going to fight them. You can fight the Primals. What, me? No, no, no. I'm going to sit back behind my desk and look cute. It's the Lala Felon last I'm smitten with. She's so adorable it hurts. I want to sweep her up in my arms and squeeze her tiny <laughs> till my arms ache. What do you reckon it would take to convince the Centurion to lend me the key so I can see her? This man... This man is my man. My homie. I love this guy. Okay, honey. Yes, he does sound pretty down bad. But also, he's a homie. Likes the short stacks, he does. Yo! Ishtola out here. That sounded so forced. Pray! Forgive us our delay! <laughs> okay, alright. Alright, girl, pop off. Pop off. Papalino, Minfilia. Ida. What took you so long? Oh my god, Papalimo. Well, it's nice to see you too. The reunion must wait. Right. First things first. We're gonna dunk on these fuckers. Yes. Let's get back to being heavily outnumbered. <laughs> you ditched your Magitek armor. Fool of a Lalafell. He has a Scottish accent. Well, excuse me. She's all yours if you think you can do any better. Oh my god, these are not the voices that I pictured these characters having. I think I'm going to call her Tiffany. Dad. But there's no one in there. Come what may, we Scions will never give up the fight. And I'm here too. And so I bid you stay I'm just like looking blankly at the crowd. Actually, no, I'm checking out Sid's ass. Look, look at my eyes. They're, they're going directly at Sid's ass. They're all talking about we need to per persevere and make sure that we're saving the world. I'm just like, damn, Sid, you got a freaking badonka tonk. That exact voice. Thank you, honey. Good luck. All right. Whew. We got this. Ooh, pretty. Hmm. Hi, big man. I didn't expect you to be right here. It would appear we have unexpected guests. Now, where have I seen you before? Ah, but of course, the man who felled the mighty titan. This is the Echion Slayer. I mean, hour in here? Oh my gosh. I see. The commotion without is not but a diversion. Allow me to hazard a guess. By eliminating me, you hope to undermine the garrison at Ossidens. A bold strategy to be sure, but have you the strength to see it to fruition? Leave us. None of you are a match for him. Send more to Castrum Ossidens. Tell them the Lomsnians are coming. At once, my lord! It takes an hour to do this one fight? That's crazy. 
Fifteen years have come and gone since Lord Van Balesar first set foot in Eorzea, and his ambition for the realm burns as strong as ever. Know you what fuels an adventurer? The desire to deliver the people from their suffering. The land he has conquered were all beset by with problems, poverty, starvation, lawlessness, and strife. My homeland was no exception. Had my lord not reached out and claimed it for the Empire, it would eventually have destroyed itself. But under his sage leadership, my people enjoyed such peace and stability as we have never known, and he only desires the self-same for the people of this realm. Under his rule, Eosia would be free from the shackles which bind it, the shackles of false faith. There would be no feeble leaders to misguide the masses, no echions to bleed the realm dry. True peace would reign, and the people would be free to live their lives without fear of persecution and oppression. Should you doubt the words, the truth of my words, I bid you look upon me. I am no son of Galamond, yet Lord Van Belsar saw fit to raise me to a station of great honor. He measures a man not by his birth, but by his worth. Such is his sense of justice. By the grace of his excellency, I am where I was born to be, upon the field of battle. He has given me a noble cause to fight for, and worthy adversaries to smite. Hell yeah, dude. I'm not wont to bear my steel needlessly, but if you are deaf to reason... Ooh, music picking up. In the name of Lord Von Belsa, I, Ritalin Sas Arvina, do swear to strike you down. Alright. Okay, oh my gosh. Remember strats... Remember the meteor stacks. Okay, he's dying really quick, so I'm assuming there's some bullshit that's gonna happen. Did it again. Oh god. Wait. I mean that wasn't it, right? <sighs> oh. Quando S. Forgive me. I have failed you. Fucking chilled. This has been like a long con, dude. This has been a long con. How dare you? You had me hyped up for like two days about this. Lord Von Belsar. It's tradition. <laughs> I was so hyped up for it. Oh, I was so ready. Easiest fight... Man, you've all- this is a conspiracy. This is a conspiracy, y'all. Does this get- not give any loot? Alright. Really is tradition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been baited and outsmarted.